Good morning, everybody. It is early. <laughs> I'm off work today, but I'm still up early because my wife and I are heading down to Charleston for the day. Uh, we've talked about this for a long time. We're just going to head down there, um, spend the day, and drive back. So it's going to be a long day. We're trying to get out of here by 7 o'clock, and should be a good time. If you've never been to Charleston, South Carolina, you got to put it on your list. It is one of the coolest towns. If you like history at all, it, it's just amazing. It's beautiful. It's, yeah, it's, it's just really a neat place. Now, although I'm going there uh, with my wife just to have a good day, I am going to take it as an opportunity to shoot stock photography, of course. Um, so, taking along the X100V. Now, obviously, if, say, the city of Charleston called me and hired me to do stuff, I would take all the gear I needed, all the lenses, the biggest camera, all the stuff, but on a day like today when I'm just going down kind of as a tourist and just having some fun with my wife, taking something compact is the way to go. But I also, as you know, love to take something that's going to produce high enough quality images that I can use them for stock photography. So we'll see how this goes. Is it a perfect travel camera? I don't know. The only drawback that I think I'm going to have is the one lens, 23 millimeter f2 lens. It's a phenomenal lens, but it's only one lens. So the question I think is going to come up is how often do I think I wish I had a shorter lens or a longer lens compared to how many times I'm thrilled that this is all I'm carrying. And if you notice, I've actually put a strap on it so I can carry it around my neck if I want to. I'll really look like a tourist then, but that's okay. So um, excited to get down there. Even though I've only got the one lens, I think for the most part it's going to be good. We'll see how many times I say I wish I had something else. And if that outweighs the times that I'm thrilled that I'm only carrying the small little camera, then we'll make adjustments next time we go. The other thing that I purchased, just so you know, I bought this little I bought this little uh, attachment. Goes on the hot shoe, something like that. I can then put the video camera on top, so as I'm shooting, we can do some point of view video footage, so you'll see that when I get down there. A little excited about that. We'll see how that goes. But let's go to Charleston.
Okay, so we just ate at the world-famous Hyman's, which was awesome. I've just been walking around town taking photographs. Beautiful, beautiful day. And I can't tell you enough, if you haven't been to Charleston, you need to come here. Now we're going to head over to the Isle of Palms, which isn't very far away, and hit the beach. Because we come this far, we got to put our toes in the water before we head back. Okay guys, it's the next day and I apologize that was not the greatest travel video ever, I get it. But let me know what you think about the point of view uh, perspective as far as showing the video and the pictures that I took. Here's the setup that I had with that and I'll be honest with you as far as taking travel photographs and walking around taking, you know, with the goal of making photographs, that was a little bit of a clunky setup but I was trying to come up with a way to create the video and, and document shooting as well as shoot so I don't know how great that was it was a little clunky but as far as the X100V as a travel camera let me say it like this there were probably two or three times where I wish I had a wider angle lens I never ran into a situation yesterday where I had a longer lens the 23 millimeter lens was good most of the time a couple of times like I said I wish I had something a little wider but by and large if I felt that it was not a wide enough angle lens for what I was trying to do, I simply moved back. And I've said that before on this channel. I think that having only one lens makes me a little bit less lazy, if you will. If I need to move forward or backwards a little bit with only one lens, I'm forced to do it. I think I end up with better photographs in the end. So I have a 17 millimeter lens on my full frame camera and a lot of times I'll just rack it out to 17 millimeters and think that I'm getting the composition that I want. I get the images back on the computer and I look and I'm like, wow, the fact that uh, I'm using a 17 millimeter lens, there's distortion on the corners and it's just too wide. And I don't see that when I'm shooting as much as I do once I get it back. So I think having to back up because you don't have that wide of an angle lens is actually a benefit more so than a hindrance. So. All in all, I don't think only having one lens was really a bad thing. I think I preferred having a smaller setup for the fact that I was just walking around with my wife rather than lug a bunch of stuff and have every single lens possible. So as far as a travel camera for what I was doing yesterday in kind of a touristy situation, we were doing different things, we were shopping, but I wanted the ability to take great photographs. The X100V, perfect, absolutely fantastic. It's small enough you can put it in a pocket it's not big and clunky and even with the you know with the setup and everything up on top for doing the video even that was not all that heavy I never got exhausted or or fatigued by any means carrying that around and we walked all over Charleston we, we I don't know how many miles we put in my wife said we did about 12,000 steps if you have any questions let me know I do want to hear what you guys think about the point of view um, if we should do some more of that kind of thing if it you know adds to the photo experience I'd love to hear about that but if not like and subscribe as always give me your comments and I will see you guys in the next video take care mm -hmm.